What's up guys, we're going back to that quick tip format. Before we dive into the video, one question I've been getting a ton, Instagram DMs on just pretty much everywhere, Twitter, if you guys aren't following us on all our social, be sure to do that, all the links are down below. But is what do we do for cardio during a shred? This is something we get too, too much and they say, what is the best cardio type to burn fat? And in my opinion, the answer to that is whatever you like the most, it's whatever you're gonna get done. If you wanna do cardio and your coach and you have a in my opinion, a horrible coach, and they say 45 minutes of cardio six times a week, that's how you're gonna get lean, 1,000 calories. No, that's not good, that's not sustainable. You're not gonna be able to upkeep that, right? So if you guys like playing soccer, that's your passion, go and play soccer. For myself, I try to do four sessions of about 30 minutes of activity. Sometimes I'll walk on the treadmill, but most of the times I'll do something like going biking or doing something different, like sky zone where you jump on trampolines or playing a sport like hockey. If you can do something like that, that's still cardio, that's fine. It doesn't have to be static gym machines. You gotta do whatever you like, whatever you're passionate about. Just make sure you're getting those sessions in. Keep up that aerobic intensity alongside that intensity in the gym. You wanna have both, and that's how you're gonna see your results. Let's get into this video. I honestly believe the lap pull down is the exercise that like almost every single person in the gym does incorrectly. It's actually our biggest video, I'm assuming because most people do it wrong. So many people just lean forward, they pull way too far back and nobody's actually getting a proper contraction while doing this exercise. So search, or actually we'll put in the description below, um, our lap pull down video and I highly recommend checking it out guys, you will learn a ton, I promise you. So after we crush our back, we head over into rear delts here. The first exercise we're going to do, and in my opinion, this is the best exercise for rear delts. A lot of people in the gym ask us what exactly we're doing here. This is a cross arm rear delt. We've also made a video on this, so you guys can check that out. But keep in mind, when doing this, the benefit of doing it after back is your back's already fatigued, the muscle's already being worked, so it allows you to really focus on utilizing those rear delts, because that's what you want to bring in. But even at worst case, if you're doing this exercise completely wrong, at least you're getting some back work. So that's a good thing about bridging it together, but I know you guys aren't going to do that because you're part of the Colossus Army, and we got that how-to video to hook you up to help you do this properly. If you guys aren't doing rear delts, I really recommend getting on it. We do it after back and we do it after chest as well. We try to make sure there's a rest day in between so we're not overdoing it. But by doing this, you're gonna have nice, full looking delts as opposed to other people that get that delt say because all they work is chest. They're not pulling themselves back with some effective rear delt work. I got them like. I got them like. So in the description you guys will see the entire workout that we did as well as the form videos for each one of these exercises. So seated row, lap pull down, um, the cross arm rear delt, the face pull. If you guys struggle with this, watch the full video. I guarantee you guys will learn so much and fix your form.